All right, we arrived, page Vav, in the little booklet, in Krishma. So I'm going to say the Zoyar, and I'm going to explain around it. And we're going to go, we start going to start seeing some very important things happening when we say Krishma. It says, Bishasa, Bishata, the Ase Banash, the Yachda Shema de Kuchaberichu, when a person comes, gets ready to say Kriyashma, which is unify the name of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, because when we say Shema, automatically, again, like last week, nothing happens on top. We are the engines. We are the engine of the cars. All the world moves by what we do, through what we do. So when we say Kriyashma, Automatically, the unification of the name of Akadosh Baruch Hu. What it means, the unification of the name of Akadosh Baruch Hu? Kol chele shemayo, all the armies, mean the Malachim, the Seraphim, the Oifanim, all of them, all the type of Malachim, stand, kulhu kayamin shurin shurin. They all stand in lines. Whenever the Bnei Yisrael are going to say Kriyashma, they all stand up in line. All over Shemaim, all type of Malachim. Begin le istakana ul iskalala kulhu behahu yehuda. Begin for le istakana to complete themselves. Ul iskalala and to include themselves. I'll explain this. Kulhu all of them behahu yehuda. The Malachim are only getting the sustenance when we unify them. Remember, they were created by Kodesh Bokhu. Kodesh Bokhu took sparkles from his light and he created the Malachim with them. So whenever the Malachim need, because they need their food, even though it's a spiritual food, it's the man, they need it. And therefore, when Bnei Yisrael say Kriyashma, at this time, the light of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, because you unify him, you, you make him greater, showers over the Malachim and feeds them. This is how the Malachim get their Parnasa. Otherwise, they don't get their Parnasa. They also want to be included in the soil, in the secret of one. I'll explain. In that Yichud of Kriyashma, they all get the Tikkun. Every Malach is like a human being. He, needs, he wants to get higher because they see the spirituality and the Dusha of HaKadosh Baruch They all want to be closer to Hashem. So with this Yehud, the more Kavana we give in Kriyashma, the more we send them in order to get closer to Kodesh Baruch Hu and, and, and complete their, um, the, 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 their uh, sus receiving their sustenance from HaKadosh Baruch Hu. They, go, they can receive the more oil. In other words, let me ask you a question. Why do we have to do it? Don't you think HaKadosh Baruch Hu knows better what we need than we ourselves think what we need? Why do we need to doubt him? Why do we need to do grandest things like this in order to receive? But we can never do it properly. We could never do it the right way. We, we, we imperfect. We are humans. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu knows the very need of every person much better than the person himself. Let me give you the response that I like from the Sefer Karim. In the Sefer Karim, he explains, he says, the role of the tefillah, you know, we don't understand this at this point, you know, explain it just a drop later. It's only words. We live in the physical world where 
actions matter more than words. But in the complete world, the, you know, all the worlds, words matter a lot more than actions. A word creates more actions than an action itself. An action is local. Words carry out in different spheres and different places. So when a person davens, he, he turns himself into a vessel to receive what he davened for. In other words, you don't do, we don't do nothing for Akadosh Baruch. There's nothing we can ever do for him. He's so complete and so great and so everything that there's nothing we can do for him. However, when a person has kavana during davening, he's turning himself so he has more depth. So his keli, his vessels, is having more depth and he can contain more light and receive more upper shefa from HaKadosh Baruch That's the reason we do this. So when we do the Yichud of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, this is the utmost vessel that so we can receive the biggest light that HaKadosh Baruch Hu sends is when we coronate him. When we are Mamli HaKadosh Baruch Hu, when we make a Yichud, Hashem Echod. Let's keep on a little bit. Behai Shata, at this time, when Bnei Yisrael say Krishma, Kaimarchad Memana Shamasha. There is one Memune. There is one Malach. The Kaima that stands, the Chois under Ramach Amin, 248 worlds. In other words, if you look at the Etzachayim, which is in the Tiferes in the middle, the Etz has 248 branches. And these 248 branches are like the limbs of the body. The same way we have 248 limbs, the Etz has 248, and each limb sends something, life, to one of the, of the limbs of the person. The Kulhu, and all these branches, ikrun, they are called shaifin de gufa, the limbs of the body. Just to understand here what's going on, why it means shaifin de gufa, tell me it's, it's branches. It's, it's a chaim. There's no... There's no physicality up there. So what do, you, what do you try to bring the spirituality into physicality? Shouldn't be that way. What is the word goof equals to? Goof equals 89. You know that number extremely well, 89. 89 is Hanukkah. But these are two extremes. What did the Yevanim wanted to do? Bring the goof and worship it. What did the Bnei Israel do? Bring the light and worship it. We have light versus goof. The, the, the separation between Bnei Israel and the Shekhinah in spiritual, it's called goof. It's like a wall. The same way when we have the neshama inside our goof, the neshama cannot shine out. as It's not visible. Why? Because the goof, it's darkness. If Whatever encompasses, it encompasses, you can see out. It's such a dark darkness, profound darkness. So you have Hanukkah, the light, and you have the goof. That's why in Hanukkah we say, we say in the bracha, lehadlik ner Hanukkah. The first letters are lehadlik lamed, ner, nun, Hanukkah ches, nachal. Nachal is 88. With the, with the koelo, it's 89. We need to flow 
of the upper river, which comes from the Bina, to flow down. So you need to remove the goof out of the picture. So the goof is what the Goim want to put in the middle, Am Yisrael, Shechina. If you remove it, then you have the flow of Shefa. So when a person says Kriyashma, he is exactly the light of Hanukkah. The lights are shining up right on him. There's no more goof in the middle. The more kavana he pulls, the more goof he removes, and the more light comes down. The more light comes down, the more power he has, the more sustenance he has, and the more chiyas, the more life he has. The foundation of life is the light of Hashem. Kiner mitzvah v'teirahoyer. The more light we have inside, <clears throat> the nefesh of the goyim can see it. The goof doesn't, doesn't see it, but the nefesh can see it. And this prevents them, they get scared of the person. So this is the union of what we call in, in the etzachayim that he has the limbs of a body. Not to per se say the limbs of the body, just to give us a, a, an understanding but it's all full of light. <clears throat> and look, Veda Ikre, I'm going to say his name, okay, Hilniyo. The, the name of this Malach that stands under the Etzachayim, the 248 branches, he calls, if you look at his name, is Hey Lamed Nun Yudvav. It's exactly the same letters as Elokeinu, missing the Aleph. So when we put the Aleph together with this, with this name, automatically you have the flow. This is the union of unifying the name of HaKadosh Bo. We'll understand, you know, as it goes along, we'll understand a little bit more. But we already see that when you unify the name of HaKadosh Bo, who, so you have 248 limbs from the, 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 the Eitz Achaim that shower you with light. He stands and awaits for Bnei Israel to make that Yichud. And once they make it, he harvests roses. What is roses? Roses? Shamayim, there are roses? I know in, in, in uh, Shir Hashirim, we talk a lot about the Shoshanim. We talk a lot about the roses. But what do roses have to do here? Roses, if you recall the Shir on uh, Parshas Vayechi, that when Yaakov was Niftar, and uh, Esav came with the Bnei Shmuel, wanted to fight him, Yosef put his crown on the beds of Yaakov. When the kings of um, Esau, Esau and Yishmael saw this, they put the crowns. How many crowns they put? 35. With Yosef was 36. What's in this that prevented them to go to war? At that point, they realized Yaakov was alive. And as long as Yaakov is alive, they have no power. Because Yaakov Yosef kills, it's 338. It's, it's Esau and Ishmael. The, the Malach, they take down the Malach of Esau and Ishmael. They realize, so they say, we cannot, we cannot win. If you take Lamed Vav Kesarim, the 38 crown, the 36 crowns, how many lights we have in Hanukkah? 36. You see, we follow the path. So we're touching the Keser of every Mita when we say, so his Melaket Shoshani, meaning he's going to every Keser and bring the light, as we, as we refer as a rose. And he brings it down. Kemadeat Amar, as it says in Tehillim, the Lilkoit Shoshani. That to harvest the, the, the where do Shoshanim grow? The Midrash says the roses grow in the middle of thorns. And 
to protect the, the, the roses. So when the Bnei Israel says the Yichud, the light that comes down from the Keser is so pure that wherever there is a Nitzah, Kadosh, even though it's among thorns, Chitzonim that want to keep it, he frees and he harvests that Nitzah and bring it up. So when we do the Yichud, we think we can measure the Chesed we do through our actions toward one another, toward one of these. No, there is a spiritual chesed that we do even with neshamas that didn't deserve to go to Gan Eden and they deserve to be lost in the world, even with that for generations they've been suffering tremendous punishment and so forth. With the power of Kriya Shema, we have the power to raise them back up and complete them. The same way we complete Malachim, we can complete those Neshamas that are lost among the thorns. The, the Inun Shaifin the Gufa. These are the limbs of the body. In other words, Amisro is the limb of the Shechim. Amisro is the limb of the Etzachayim. And as we cannot be away, so it's like a broken body when all the Neshamas are not back to their source. And therefore, we have to, um, to bring them to the, um, to the, to the, back to the Etzachayim. Just something I didn't say in the share yesterday, just to, to show you how far we're going. You know, I mentioned that uh, Zeshmi Le Oilam Vizizichri Dor Dor equals 1225 Kriyashma Bismana. You know, I was just in, uh, I was in ICU and I couldn't talk loud. The doors are open and, you know, I had all, I didn't want a nurse to come in the middle and shut me down in the middle of the shear. So I was very calm. However, the power of Kriyashma is even higher than the Kehye Asher Kehye. We saw yesterday the Shir Kehye Asher Kehye, which the Ariya Kodesh says, it's the root and the foundation of every name Kodesh. Says the Ariya Kodesh. Normally, a person cannot pronounce one of the names of a Kodesh Bohu. He would be burnt by the Dusha of the name. Only because HaKadosh Baruch Hu encompassed it into Keye Asher Keye, then we, we are able to utter the name of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. If you take, so we, we learned yesterday, 13, um, the Yud Ke Vavke inside the Keye, like in the Tfilin, this is the Keye Asher Keye. But remember, this follows you up the whole day, the Keye Asher Keye. If you take 13 times Yud Kevavke, completion, let's say the whole formula, 13 times Yud Kevavke equals 338, Yaakov Yosef. Just to show you the power of Yaakov Yosef, 13 times Yud Kevavke. You take 13 times Kehye, 13 times 21, 273. 273 plus 338 equals 611 Toira. It's not only in Kriyashma. It's not only in, 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 in the, the, the doubling on the Keyashe Keye, you know, on the feeling. It's also when you learn Toira. Once you have the right mindset, you're learning lishma. You don't care about what people say. You don't want any coverage. You don't want anything. You just want to do it for the purpose of what Akadosh Baruch told us. Then automatically you trigger the keye asher keye. You become a kli. You're becoming a vessel. And then the tremendous shefa comes. I would like to show you on this uh, share. Share. Uh, if you take 
Shema Yisrael, Hashem Elokeinu, Hashem Echad, equals 1,118. Exactly like the Passover we say several times in in Davening, Hashem Hoishia, HaKadosh Baruch Hu help. You see, they put, they put the, the comma here. It's totally wrong. HaKadosh Baruch Hu help us. HaMelech Yaneinu, the king will answer us B'yayim Karein, at the time when we're going to call. This is the side of Yaakov Avinu, which is the side of the Tiferes, the the... We mentioned that uh, a few times of the Etzachayim. Yaakov went when he fought with with the Malach. He fought with the, he went with the Shemus like Yabok, a Yavores Mava Yabok, Yud base Kuf. If you take Yud base Kuf equals one twelve. One twelve. Equals the Yichud of the Tfilin, which are Yud Kevav, K, 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 Tfilin Shem, Aleph, Dalet, Yud. So someone that can think, that can do this Yichud when he says that, his Tfila is guaranteed accepted. Whenever a person is in need, and he starts and he says, Ash, so he says the three Psukim. Um, uh, Ashadam Wetiach uh, is the second, and the first one is uh, Ashadam. Um, I don't remember that my head. Let's see if I can call Bonus in quickly. I don't want to take time on here. Ashadam, Shakhris, call Bonus. Ashem Tevoke Simonu is Galvanu Yakub Sela. He say three times this psukim, Hashem Tzavok is Asher Adam Beite Yachbok. And then he says, Hashem Weshia Melech Yaneinu B'yam Karein. And he puts the name next to it. And when he says, Yaneinu B'yam Karein, this is exactly how Yaakov won the Malach with these three names. The power, Yaakov Avinu was not a heritage. He was not a, uh, he came with the names and he fought him with his mouth. Not with his uh, fight, with his mouth he fought him. So this this is the power. And so when we say Kriya Shema, automatically, all our tefillah, you see the, that it's included in the Kriya Shema, is being accepted. But now we're in Simen Samech Aleph in the Halachas. Yikra Kriya Shema Bekavana. It's a mitzvah, so we say, we saw last week, that we have to, we, this two Indian in the Kavana of Kriya Shema, to be Mekayim the mitzvah and the wheel, the Ratzon, because the Ratzon is what makes you a keli, a vessel, to be to, to be Yoitze the mitzvah. He has to do it Be'ema with fear. Be'ira is also fear. Be'resach is also fear. And it's fear. So all type of fear, really with Kavana, take your time. And if we don't say the first class in the Kavana, we know you say we have to reset it. So the first, the first two came of Otil the Ahafta, we'll see. They must be, this is the mitzvah the Raisa, and it has to be done the Kavana. Now, if you you don't know if you did it or not, the Kavana, then you have Suffolk Mitzvah the Raisa, Suffolk Mitzvah the Raisa, the Khumra. Saif base. What it says in Krishma, it's to tell you that every day, so now we have another aspect of the mitzvah. Don't do Krishma as if you are you know, uh, saturated or uh, blazed or whatever. It has to be like it's the first time. You know what Krishna is about. You know what you're going for. It's a tremendous, as Jeff put it very well into, I like the definition, you feel you have an armor going on you. And when you finish Krishna, you feel you have really an armor. You feel very strong. That's Krishna. 
ולוי כמי שכבר שמה על איסורים. You know you eat the mitzvah if you dive into your shema as if you already heard it harbe pe'amim many times. She'eno yichaviv etzloi because you don't have something that's old already. It's not as desirable to you. That's the so the mitzvah we see the mitzvah of what it says in the words. It's a mitzvah the raisa that you have to put in your kavanah. That it's like the first time I'm saying it. I'm saying it. And I'm going to feel like I'm going to be zoiche, like you do a shgulo for the first time. You're excited about the outcome. Saif Gimel. B'kriya Shema, in Kriya Shema, Yeshrama Tevis. What it says in the Shira, writing in Beshalach, Uvnei Yisrael Yoitzim Beyad Rama, with an upper hand. What's Yad Rama? They came out of Mitzrayim because of Kriya Shema. Yad Rama. Rama is the 248 words that are in Kriya Shema. Ukedei lehashlim Ramach. And in order to complete them to 248, so we're missing three, against the limbs, the Evara shel Adam, of the person, Mesayim shel Yech Tzibor, the shel Yech Tzibor ends up by repeating Hashem Eloikechem Emes. So when he says the 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 shliach tibur, everyone in the normal reading of Shema Asher Nemekechem Emes Bechoyze Bohimer Bekol Ram, he says it over loudly. Hashem Eloikechem Emes, as we do. So one, two, three. You know, two hundred forty-five plus one, two, three equals two hundred forty-eight. But now with the Zoya, we know that we complete also. The Eitz Achaim. So now we have completed the Eitz Achaim. So we can have Shefa coming and Bracha and Yeshua coming um, um, from the Eitz Achaim. The Rama as Baze Kol Adam Yitzel, and with this meaning Hashem Elokechem Emes, every person is Yitzel. What do you mean? Yeah. What are you adding on the Mechaber? You're in the middle of Kriya Shema. The 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 the, the, the is already toward the end of Kriya Shema. And he says, Achshem Eloikechem Emes, once you're only in the Ahafta. Since you have heard it, that's the Chidush of the Rama. Since you have heard it and you were holding onto Kriya Shema, you are Yoitze, the mitzvah of, of, of 248. Since we've heard, the people heard this from the mouth of the Shliach Tzibur, Shalash Tevois, they're adding. So you don't have to have them in order. Since you've heard them, at the end of your Kriya Shema, these three words are added to your Kriya Shema and amount to 248. That's the best choice of said that. Now, if you dive in Be'echidus, the Im Hayachid, oh, no, no, sorry, it's not this one yet. And if the uh, a person wants to repeat them with the Shaliyach Tzibur, the Im Hayachid, Roitze Gamken, the Oimra, Im HaShaliyach Tzibur, if he wants to repeat them, he said them. So you, you might think that this is Bracha, the, the Shem Hashem, he's uterine the Shem Hashem Levatala, uh-uh, and Isor Vadada. There's no prohibition in there. It's not the Shem, it's not the Batala, because there are some days that hold that every person should repeat it to make his own self, his own 248 words. Now the Rama goes, and if he says, if he says it alone, sorry, the Mechaber is, if he says it and he's Be'echidis, so he's missing three, so he has to think to have Kavana. They are 15 Vav. And if you multiply 15 by 6, it equals 90. And these are the three names of Akadosh Bohu. Yudke Bavke times 3 equals 78. Like lechem, like bread, to tell you, panasa only comes from Hashem. 
שכל שם אוילי חפו, every יוד כבב כמאוס טו 26, ודלת אוייסי יויסב, פלוס לפור לטרס, איקוולס 30. So, Lamed, here there's a big soil, the Mechabra says. What's the gematria of Yehuda? 30. What is Pirke Aves say that uh, to acquire the Malchus, how many meters to acquire the Malchus? 30. Now, you remember... I don't know if you remember the shir on the shulchan. Shulchan is the letters nachash plus, la, plus 30. And the Gemara says in Psachim, whenever you sit down to eat, look at the head of the table, the nachash is sitting down there. He's right there, waiting for you to make a mistake on the table and hack you. But there's a lamet in the shulchan. It's the name of Hashem plus the four letters. You have to keep, even when you eat, you have to keep your kavana. That you don't eat to enjoy your eating, to gain strength. You're saying the Torah on the table, you are safe because you did the Lamed and the Lamed breaks the Nachash. The Yesh Oitamacher, there's another reason. The Dava the Tesvaf Vavin, the Rama says that uh, it was a tremendous Mekubo, the, the Rama. It was not a Stama Litvish. Um, he says the 15 Vav of that, that amounts to 90, and plus the reading equals one. So altogether equals 91. Like Hashem, Yud Kevav Ke, Aleph Dalet Nun Yud, Amen, Malach, Sukkah, 91, 91, 91. It's the Yichud. These above, 15 times above, plus the reading, connects also the name of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. It's here. I would have said here, Yud. That's the circle here. So when you say, Hashem Eleikechem Emes, and right away you say this, it's like you're saying, the, 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 it's true that Kodesh Baruch Hu is one, is oneness and everything. The Yeshe Kosmo, there's some that are written, they call HaKere Kriyashma V'yachid, anyone, and that's the meaning now, anyone who reads Kriyashma in Yechides, Yomar Kel Melech Ne'eman. Beforehand, he has these three words. If you take Kel Melech Ne'eman, we're going to the same, to the same idea. Look at the first letters. Because this is what we say when we say Amen. As your Amen. Amen. Every time we say Amen, we say the name of Kel Menech Neeman. So this is what we say. The three words, compensate the three words that you're not going to hear from the Shliach Tzibur, Hashem Elikechem Emes. And therefore, you know, you start Krishma with Kel Menech Neeman and you're going to have 248. Because these three words, Mashlimin Haminian Shel Ramach, complete the, the number to 248. You see how important is this 248? That we try to find in any way possible to complete them. Behu Bemakrem Amen. And it, it's basically the, the, exactly what we explain here instead of an Amen. Sheyesh Lano is Achabor, Chabriche, Ramu Yisrael, Bigahava. So, because he's diving be Yechidus and he's not going to say Amen before Kriya Shema, even though we know a Ashkenaz are by, by, by the Litvish to say it, at this side we don't say it, we say with the Bracha, with the, with the Shariach Tzibor, in order not to make a hefseg, because there's a Machlekes here, when you say Amen after the Bracha, Bechir Bamu Yisrael Be'yahava, we should say the word Shema here, is Be'yahava Shema. Right away, without any hefsek in the middle. And so I say, no, it's Kelmenech Neeman. It's already the name of Hashem. It's not a hefsek. So to be Yitzhak Echoladeh, 
we we don't say it, but we do add kel melech neeman in kibbe yichidus. Vechen loy hagin and that's the minha. When he really appears to me, we call Markham in any case, Keshekere Matsibor, when he reads Krishma with the Tsibo, Lo Yoimar Kelmelech Neman. He should not say Rak Yoimar Amen. According to the Rama, you say Amen after the Bracha of the Shalir, Acha Shalir Tsibo, Keshemesayim Abracha, when he finishes the Bracha, Vechen Yahagin, and this is the Minhag, Venoch in Hu, meaning there are reasons for it uh, deeper than that. That's it. So we're going to be Simon Samechalev as Hashem next week. Saif Dalit. And uh, just to finish a uh, thing on a note, you, you have to, to understand that we we call uh, we are called Adam. We can only be successful when we are Adam. Adam was created in Oilam Ayetzira, not in the lower world, in this world. I shall have kept them. Okay. Oilam Asiya, this is where we are right now. So we fell after the Maise of Adam Arishan. We came out of the Gan Eden and we fell to here. This is where all the bad spirits and forces are. And we need to get back here. Adam. You remember this name? Yudke Vavke spelled out like this equals 45. The name of Hashem. But this is the bigger one. It's always remembered. It's equals Gehula. Whether you need it, a person is in, in need of a Gehula for himself or a Gehula for Amisrael. It, it has to be an Adam. An Adam is when he wears the feeling. That's when he thinks about the Kesa Malchus because the, uh, it is Adam Tachtoin and we have Adam Elion, which is Kuchabarechu on top of us. But you need to be in Oilam Yitzira. You need to raise yourself. So Kriya Shema enables you to go above the, the, the world, the lowest world where all the spirits are. Automatically, when you become Adam, you have a Geula because you're not in the same world as them. They can do nothing to you. You can do nothing to them. And that's a tremendous Gula of the Shema Yisrael. Have a good night, everyone. Have a great Shabbos. Maybe I'll do it on, mon on Monday night, the Zoya from now on, so I break you up a bit. Um, let me know. Send me messages. Which night would you prefer, or we change the Wednesday night share, you know, of the thing to uh, um, a different night. So we have um, like this. We can um, not have them concurrently. Uh,